Oh, God. Like, not only did I not really want to cover this when it came out, I'm not interested in covering nonsense. But the more it gets brought up and the more what I perceive to be, you know, smart friends uh, saying shit like this, the more it gets annoying. This glorification of Fidel Castro, like he's some kind of hero or revolutionary when he was just a dictator. There are no benevolent dictators that are good for humanity. Stop it. Shut the fuck up. It's not like things were exactly good during Batista's run. You could run Cuba off of, you know, tourism alone. Cigars and beach hotels. Like, calm the fuck down. Well, you know, we've just gone too far. Anyways, I have a friend. I help run a songwriting competition with some friends. And, you know, this, this, he, he started it. Frenchy, you fuck. He wrote a song called Fidel Castro. And my God, it starts with the cringiest timestamp. It's the time that he died, 1029. Now that that's pretty much the only like good thing we hear about Fidel Castro. It's, it's not even something we hear, it's just something we see and we're left to our own devices to understand whether this is something he meant as, oh, in remembrance. Can't really tell. And there's only one other line in the song that has some honesty about what Fidel Castro was. It's, I see my future and dictate I'm Castro. It's just a clever, like, lyricism way of saying, Fidel Castro was a dictator who was in control of his shit, and I'm in control of my own life. I am to my life a dictator, what Fidel Castro was to Cuba, a dictator. Or at least that's as far as I'm willing to stretch it. Now, the funniest thing about this song is that so many jokes can be made about the chorus. It's, don't, don't start with him, nah, 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 nah. You, you don't really get far with him. No, 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 no. And it's hilarious because you can say so many of the things that he actually did along with the chorus. And you could, you could recite his entire uh, run, his entire career, his entire dictatorship along with these lines. And it gets funnier and funnier to me considering what people tend to say about him in this glorification of this revolutionary, like somehow he was actually good for the world. It's nonsense. So here it fucking goes. My remix of my friend's song. God damn it, Frenchie. Oh, and, 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 and one of the quotes that Fidel Castro says are things that all these people point to as though it makes sense, as though he wasn't a propagandist. Condemn me. It does not matter. History will absolve me. Now, Frenchy also puts out these things. I call it Frenchy philosophy, right? Just like single statements beside an image of himself, and he does it every day. It's a great way of marketing yourself to have yourself be, you know, memorable. But you know, uh, uh, individual lines containing philosophy seem to like end up being pseudo philosophy. There's just no way it can actually be philosophically sound and also be contained within that period of space. But it's a great exercise to, you know, con condense truth as much as possible. But ultimately, you get stuck with the lack of nuance. So consider that, that condemn me, it does not matter, history will absolve me line from Fidel Castro. All the while, uh, French philosophy bit right here. Just a fun little fact. So, uh, don't... Don't start with him because the U.S. State Department, Amnesty International, and the Human Rights Watch all list Fidel Castro's Cuba as among the worst human rights violators on the planet. Don't, don't start with him because the Miami Pact granted him a fund that allowed him to pay off generals, infiltrate the media, and manufacture stories of guerrilla warfare against Batista's army. See British historian Paul Johnson's book, Modern Times. The Fidelistas were completely lacking in the basic military arts or in any experience in fighting. In all essentials, Castro's battles for Cuba was a public relations campaign fought in New York and Washington. Frenchie also had this uh, nice little excerpt from uh, the New York Times, uh, which was a uh, part of the money that Fidel Castro used through his grant to pay for uh, his, his propaganda. Uh, so yeah, uh, 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 cute, good job. Don't, don't, don't start with him or he'll capture 50 United States servicemen and use them as human shields for a treaty. Don't, don't start with him 
or he'll close down independent news sources, execute hundreds who worked in Bautista's administration, gun down a hundred men and boys near San Juan Hill. No trial. Executed. Put into a mass grave with bulldozers. All of that happened on the day he took power and said he could fix Cuba without spilling a single drop of blood. Don't start with him. Don't start with him. Don't, don't start with him or he'll jail political prisoners at a higher rate than Stalin during the Great Terror. Don't, don't start with him or he'll murder more people in his first three years than Hitler's regime did in the first six. At least when you adjust for the population of something like Germany, 65 million, with the population of Cuba, 6.5. You just scale it up 10 and bam, comparatively, one's worse. And it's Castro's Cuba. Don't, don't start with him because he said <clears throat> verbatim, <clears throat> Legal proof is impossible to obtain against war criminals, so we sentence them based on moral conviction. God damn it. That is fucking terrifying. Don't, don't start with him, or he'll round up homosexuals and prostitutes, numbering in tens of thousands, and put them into re-education camps. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that people would do some historical justifications for, oh, well, in that time, fuck you, you wouldn't do that for Christians. You, you, you'll certainly do it for Islam. You'll probably do it for uh, 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 fucking communists. Unbelievable. Don't, don't start with him. Or he'll try to goad you into nuclear war with something called the Armageddon Letter urging the Russians to attack the United States first because an attack was impending. Like, it was definitely going to happen, and we're your allies. I mean, c come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, yeah, Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev wasn't buying that either. Or maybe you don't remember the Cuban Missile Crisis. You know, you know 1962. I mean, pff, pff, it's in the past, right? I mean, if we leave what's in the past, it's in the past. I mean, let's focus on the now. You know, the now with revisionist history. Fuck you. Don't, don't start with him or try to escape because uh, in, in the past 50 years, between 65 and 80,000 people have died trying to do that. To expand upon that, uh, don't, don't start with him or a combined 100,000 people will die by being murdered, by dying in prison, being forced to work in labor camps until they die or drown under Fidel Castro's Cuba. All of this estimated by the Cuban Archive Project. Revolutionary, and uh, d d don't start with him, or he will inadvertently multiply your infant mortality rate nearly threefold from 1954 under Batista's regime to 1962. What? You went from what, like in the mid-teens to the mid-30s on the world stage with infant mortality rates? And uh, don't start with him, or during that infant mortality rate, you will uh, uh, sanction ab abortions approved by the state uh, if you care about that sort of thing. Re revolutionary. Oh, uh, don't start with him because uh, he will imprison women at five times the rate of uh, Bautista's regime. Oh yeah. Oh, and uh, the suicide rate for men between the ages of 15 and 24 will be the leading cause of death. Oh, and uh, 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 suicide rates among women will be the highest in the country's history. Oh, so much so that they stop publishing suicide rates for their country. Revolutionary. Don't, 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 don't start with him because the omission of information is just as much propaganda 
as the manufacturing of falsehoods. And I quote, Fidel Castro said, We cannot for a second abandon propaganda. Propaganda is vital. It is the heart of our struggle. For now, we use a lot of sleight of hand and smiles with everybody. There will be plenty of time later to crush all the cockroaches together. Yes, the world is full of liars who have mastered the art of finessing people. Let's write songs about them.